Robert Easter Jr. is just days away from defending his lightweight championship of the world inside the Huntington Center. BCSN bringing you continuing coverage all week long and today our first look at the champion and challenger during fight week. Eric Hobart joins us now with more. It had all the makings of a big fight presser. The promoters planting the seed. Robert is going into deeper water in this fight than he's ever been before. We in the mud right now, believe that. And we don't lose at home, believe that too. You understand? The fighter's a bit different in their style. Dennis Shavikov saw spoken and through a translator. I expect uh, a war and uh, uh, fans uh, should get uh, what they deserve. As for Robert, he has no problems with the language, even the part that's not allowed on TV. Third time is a charm to get your <laughs> knocked out. <laughs> really? Really? You've been saying you're going to beat him for a long time, but to say it in front of his face, that's got to be a little different, a little not um, unnerving, but special maybe. It become more different when I get to punch him, you know, uh, when it's actually uh, me and him in the ring. Easter won the press conference. The crowd definitely behind the hometown hero. Now he says it's nice, but does not affect him in the ring. No, not at all. You know, like I said, when you get in that ring, it's on you too. Can't nobody help you but your fist, you know? But like I said, when we get in there, you'll see uh, tremendous things coming from me. You say there's no home ring, but you said after the last fight, you felt the crowd, you heard the crowd. That's got to make it a little bit more special fighting in front of your hometown. Oh uh, yeah, um, hearing all my fans cheer for me, yeah, but like I said, they can't get in there and help me. It's only up to me. Good point. As for his opponent's thoughts on fighting in Easter's hometown. I'm just focused on uh, winning this fight. And the same can be said for the champ. And like I said, I, I will be the first one to knock him out. We will all find out soon as fight night is Friday night back in Toledo once again. In downtown, Eric Halbert for BCSN. Thank you, uh, uh, Eric. You know, local boxers galore on this card, not the least of which being a matchup between undefeated up-and-comers. Toledo's own Wesley Tucker is 14-0. and Eight of those wins coming by knockout, but this time, for the first time, his challenger also undefeated. Enver Halili is 9-0, and and this one is going to be good. It's a good experience, and, you know, he, he helped me get, get on this card, so I appreciate that. But I'm just excited, ready to get a win, too. Are you nervous? Or are you, I mean, is it a different kind of thing when you fight in front of your No, not crowd? for me. Not for me. It's no. not. No. But it's going to be a bigger crowd, but no. I'm used to it. Give me an idea of where you think Robert is heading into Friday night. Robert's looking real good, real sharp. He's been doing a great job in, in training camp, working hard, doing everything ten times hard. And I'm going with he, him KO and he. Let's clear that up. Wesley is thankful for Robert to help him get on the card, not Halili. In addition to Robert Easter Jr. and Wesley Tucker, there are a few other Toledo area boxers on the fight card Friday. Former Olympian Devin Vargas going to swear off against fellow Glass City boxer Tim Washington. Also fighting on the card, Fremont native Alicia Baumgartner. And she is undefeated so far in the pros as well with two wins, both of those coming by knockout.